Recently, the UK announced the early decommissioning of five Royal Navy ships. Among those set to be scrapped are notable vessels like Type 23 frigate HMS Northumberland, the amphibious assault ships HMS Albion and HMS Bulwark, and two support tankers RFA Wave Knight and RFA Wave Ruler. These decisions are part of a broader package that seeks to save the Ministry of Defense an estimated 500 million pounds. The primary motivation for this decision stems from the need to allocate resources more efficiently. The savings from these cuts will be reinvested into defense, which is crucial for maintaining the UK's maritime capabilities. I can confirm that six outdated military capabilities will be taken out of service. These decisions are set to save the MOD £150 million over the next two years and up to £500 million over five years. Savings that will be retained in full in defence. The Royal Navy plans to replace the decommissioned vessels with advanced ships, including the new Type 26 frigate and multi-role support vessels. However, the timeline for these replacements stretches several years into the future, creating a transitional phase that the Navy must navigate carefully. Moreover, alongside the warships, the review includes the phasing out older air assets like 14 aid Chinook helicopters and outdated watchkeeper drones. The goal is clear, to enhance the effectiveness of the armed forces. The UK aims to prepare for a more secure and adaptable maritime defense strategy by modernizing the fleet and retiring obsolete technology. Over the past three years, many ships and submarines have been or will be decommissioned. Landing platform dock, HMS Albion and HMS Bulwark. Submarines, HMS Trenchant and HMS Talent. Frigates, HMS Westminster, HMS Argyle, HMS Northumberland and HMS Montrose. Survey vessels, HMS Echo and HMS Enterprise. Sandown class mine countermeasures vessels, HMS Shoreham, HMS Grimsby, HMS Penzance, and HMS Pembroke. Tanker fleets and support ships, RFA Wave Knight, RFA Wave Ruler, RFA Tide Race, RFA Fort Victoria. While only three significant vessels have been added to the fleet, HMS Anson Submarine, RFA Prochus, RFA Sterling Castle, and Patrick Blackett. As geopolitical landscapes evolve, the Royal Navy is adapting its resources and strategies to ensure it remains a formidable force on the global stage. This evolution involves investments in new technologies and the modernization of its fleets, reflecting a holistic approach to national defense. The Royal Navy is investing heavily in next-generation warships and submarines. The Royal Navy is building new frigates and destroyers, Type 26, Type 31, Type 32 frigates, and Type 83 destroyers, Type 26 City-class frigates. The Royal Navy will have eight Type 26 City-class frigates. The first three frigates, HMS Glasgow, Cardiff, and Belfast are expected to enter service before 2030. The remaining five, HMS Birmingham, Sheffield, Newcastle, Edinburgh, and London will join afterward. Type 31 Inspiration Class Frigates Five new Type 31 frigates are currently under construction. These ships HMS Venture, Active, Bulldog, Formidable, and Campbellton will replace several Duke-class frigates and are expected to enter the Royal Navy fleet in the 2030s. Type 32 Frigates In addition to the Type 26 and Type 31 frigates, the UK is also developing a future frigate that is considered to have greater capabilities than the Type 31, namely the Type 32 frigate. Indeed, the Type 32 program is still in the concept stage and does not yet have a concrete schedule for design and procurement, as Luke Pollard, Parliamentary Undersecretary at the Ministry of Defense, conveyed in October 2024. Type 83 Destroyers The United Kingdom is making notable strides in enhancing its maritime defense capabilities by developing the new Type 83 Destroyer, set to replace the existing Type 45 Destroyer. 
Its design is expected to incorporate state-of-the-art technologies. Although detailed specifications of the Type 83 remain under wraps, features such as laser weaponry, advanced fire safety measures, and improved damage control systems are all part of this forward-thinking design. It is reported that the first of these new warships may enter service in the late 2030s. Amphibious Warships The UK has recently officially announced that the Royal Navy will have six new multi-role support ships or MRSS. The new MRSS will replace the aging HMS Albion and HMS Bulwark, three Bay-class amphibious support ships, RFA Lime Bay, Mounts Bay, and Cardigan Bay, and the support ship RFA Argus. The MRSS are highly versatile warships capable of being deployed on a wide range of operations. They are designed to carry vehicles, aircraft, insertion ships, and a range of unmanned systems for complex missions. Dreadnought-class submarine The United Kingdom is planning an ambitious project to build a fleet of four next-generation Dreadnought-class submarines. At an impressive 153.6 meters in length and 17,200 tons in displacement, these submarines will be the largest and most powerful boats in the Royal Navy's history. They are set to replace the existing Vanguard fleet and will begin entering service in the early 2030s. Undoubtedly, with its advanced features, innovative design, and strategic importance, the Dreadnought class will serve as a cornerstone of the Royal Navy's fleet for decades to come.